Deion Sanders leading off against John Smoltz, and the reigning Cy Young winner puts him away. Ten strikeouts tonight for Smoltz. Top of the second, things come unraveled for the Reds. It's been that kind of year. Pete Shurik's been battling injuries during Knight's two-year tenure. That's an infield single for Klesko. Then he gets wild and walks Lemke. He's got the pitcher up. But Smoltz comes in hitting 327. That loads the bases in a walk for Jeff Blauser. And the All-Star bangs out his second grand slam of the season. That's the ninth by the Braves this year. That ties the major league record. And we're not done with July. McKeon, who will turn 66 in November, aged quite a bit in his first tour as the Reds manager. Andrew Jones goes the other way. He had a couple in Wrigley this week as well. And the Braves go on to win it 7-3. Smoltz going the distance. Jimmy Leland. Nearing 100 degrees in Bush Stadium as he tries to get his team hot. They were up 2 nothing in the fifth. Well, we were talking about center fielders making a catch. This young man, Mr. Kotze, coming up with a great grab right there. Takes away an extra base hit. Marlins nursing a 4-2 lead for Levon Hernandez. In the ninth, Dennis Cook. Look at how shallow Lightford was playing him, and why not? But Cook goes deep. That turned out to be huge. Once again, Rob Dan with a horrible outing out of the bullpen. Tom Lampkin with a two-run single. It's now a one-run game. Two outs, Delino to Shields against Ned. The one-run lead, 2-1 two count. Chopper to Castillo. Gets him on the bounder to Castillo to Conan, and they escape. Ned picks up his 26 save. Didn't pitch that well, Hernandez did. Kyle has one of the nastiest curves in the league. He also got Henry Rodriguez with it. And then Jose Vidro, another Uncle Charlie. His first career win at home against the Expos if Kyle could hold on. Then things got a little wild. Juden hitting Craig Biggio. Runs into control problems. Biggio stole second. The game tied at two. And then, how about this, Harold? Well, he just drills Chucky Carr. If you're going to hit a base deal, you hit him in the legs. And Chucky Carr taunting him with the fact that I'm still going to run on you. Well, it turned out to really be Juden's undoing. It was a 2-2 game in the fifth when Jeff Backwell, who also made some outstanding defensive plays again in this game, blasts a three-run homer. And Kyle goes the distance. Five complete games. He ties Maddox for the lead lead with 14 wins. Didn't have his good stuff. That ball is jacked the other way. Pulling it into the corner. Danny Wilson puts him up 3-1 to one with his eighth home run of the year. Wells couldn't figure out the Mariners. Space is loaded for Alex Rodriguez. And there's the looping curve past the diving Pat Kelly. Mariners build a 5-1 to one lead. Then two aboard, Ken Griffey Jr., who had gone 14 games without a home run, his longest home run drought of the year, sitting on 30, sitting on a fastball, drills it the other way. After 59 at bats without a long ball, a clothesline, the opposite field off Wells, knocks him out of the game, 31 on the season for Jr., and they are blowing out the Yanks 8-1 to one as New York sixth and got him on the breaking pitch. And then he goes inside corner. A third of his nine strikeouts in the day were courtesy of the hit dog. Big of the hit dogs, Tim Salmon in a tight 3-1 game in the eighth. Blast his 19th home out of the year off Flash Gordon. That two-run shot from a 5-1 lead. But back come the Red Sox in their half of the night. Troy Percival throwing it where? Where's the ball? But easily beaten the throw home is Reggie Jefferson. It's now a 5-3 game. Then Vaughn gets revenge. As long as Finley's not in the game, he gets a base hit to make it a one-run game. With two out, tying run aboard, Mike Stanley goes after the first pitch from Percival. He gets him to pop up on a high fastball, and the Angels hold on and win it by a run. Ersted, two hits and a walk, a run, two RBIs. He's got 49. Board. Manny Ramirez pulls it into the left field. Jason Giambi will bobble it. Jim Tomei and Ramirez go to second and third. But Ramirez is out standing up. Mike Hargrove didn't appreciate the lack of hustle. That's two outs, two batters later. Matt Williams goes with it the other way. What a grab by Ernie Young. Tremendous grab by Ernie Young. Look at him stay with this ball, crash into the wall, brace himself. A great catch, Gary. How huge would that be? Mike Jackson on against Jose Canseco. Nagy started this game. He struck out Canseco twice, but Canseco finds Jackson, hammers his 21st home run of the year, and that's how it ended. The A's pull it out. Radke. Radke facing Brady Brad Anderson, Radke. who shares a muscle moment with us, and we're tied at one, the 10th home run for Anderson. Same score, top of the third, Radke against Rafael Palmero. And Palmero, he's no beanie baby. 2-1 O's on Palmero's, on Palmero's 22nd. Radke has given up two quick home runs, but he would get some support in the fifth. 4-2 Twins, Paul Molitor against Scott Caminetti.
Kamani Kamanicki, so rather. Paul Molitor out. likes this pitch. He just launches another shot. So they are playing at the Metrodome, you know. Can you tell? Molitor's second homer of the game, six of the year, and Racky would settle down. Striking out Jeffrey Hammonds. When you ask Racky what's the difference in him this year, he says, I don't know, nothing. But actually, he is keeping his pitches down, and it has resulted. Of the Jamie Navarro slider. Bottom of the first, Robin Ventura. Second game back, first home run. Get out of town, into the bullpen bar. You gotta love it. And the Sox had a 1 0 lead. Top of the third, Rangers down 2 on, 2 on, 2 out for Dean Palmer. What a game Palmer had. What a night it was for Dean Palmer. We'll tell you about it in a bit. 14th homer of the year, Rangers up 4 2. Game tied 5 5. Palmer, base hit. Juan Gonzalez coming around to score. He would. 6-5 Texas. Sox wouldn't give up, though. Damon Buford fly to right. Dave Martinez running all the way over. Gives you the A effort and makes the catch. Although the Rangers win at 8-5. As I mentioned, what a game it was for Palmer. Two for four, a home run, four RBIs, and a trade. This is he struck out Tony Phillips. Next batter, Darren Ersted. Get some fastball inside corner. corner. First, they thought it was a ball. Kind of surprised the rookie getting the call. Top of the third. Rosewood running into some problems. Tim Salmon with a runner on second. Base hit to right. Dave Holland scores. Angels up 3-1. Salmon went two for three with two RBIs. Your next batter is Garrett Anderson. Base hit through Mo Vaughn. In the right, Jim Edmonds would come around to score. 4-1. Rose would go three innings, giving up five hits, allowing all four runs. 6-5, well, we top nine, Tim Wakefield facing ball, Anderson, ball, facing ball, him ball, no ball, more. Run. Third home run of the two season, run, a two-run shot, the and the Angels win. Three-run homer in this game. Take it to the fourth, Nephi Perez. Well, he's been lighting it up, Gary. He's in 326, he's four for five tonight. Playing better than I thought he was going to. And then the big cat, Andres Galarraga. Wow. His 25th of the year, puts it into the fountain. Eight two Rockies at that point. Cubs looking to intentionally walk Eric Young. And look at this. Oh. <laughs> Ramon Tatis, who has just been horrible in the second half, throws away, makes a wild pitch out of a. And the Buckos go up 3 nothing. Bottom of the third, Bonds at the plate against Jason Schmidt. Number 361. That ties Bay Area icon Joe DiMaggio on the career list. Bonds 27th of the season. Giants within 3-1. to one. But then Schmidt would settle down. He strikes out Rick Wilkins right there. Seven innings, six Ks with one earned run. Pirates win it 5-2. to two. Around the Bonds homer, Schmidt allowed it. Andy Ashby. Huntley rips it to right center. And Steve Finley tracks it down. Excellent. Worthy of another look because Finley got horizontal on a full gate. Bottom first, Ricky Henderson on third. Tony Gwynn at the plate and slaps Dave Malicki to the left field side. That scores Henderson. Gwynn ties career high with 90 RBI of the season. Padres up 1 0. At approximately 8 14 Pacific time, something Californians know. Two minutes ago, for about five seconds, the ground shook. Now, the quake measured a 4.9 that occurred about 10 miles away. No injuries reported. Top eight, bases loaded for Carl Everett facing Trevor Hoffman. Mets trail 2-1, and Everett rips a two-run single to right. That scores two, and the Mets take a 3-2 lead. Next batter, Hoffman, has Everett off first and a run down. Carlos Baerga breaks for Hone. Ken Caminetti throws, and watch this. Hits Baerga in the head. Boink. He's safe. Mets win it four to two. They've won say league and Hideo Nomo pitches on Saturday. Bottom one, one nothing Phils. Brett Butler leading off. A blooper to center. Four Phillies are there. None come up with it. A long night for the Phils. Same inning, two on. Mike Piazza back in the lineup after straining a hamstring. Garrett Stevenson whiffs it. Bottom three, now one one. Piazza's next at bat. Again, two on. A different story. Piazza connects a three run blast. His 20th of the year. So he's the first Dodger to hit 20 home runs in each of his first five seasons, 4 1 LA. Then Mike Lieberthal chops one in front of the plate and hits it again with his bat. He's out. Watch this again. Lieberthal hits it once, hits it twice. That's a no no. Hit it again. The Dodgers roll 8 1. Piazza, four RBI in his return. Milwaukee, Scott Sanders, his first start as a Tiger, Dave Nilsson, makes it a miserable one, a towering home run into the upper deck, his 15th of the year, 2-0 Brewers. They're not done. Jeremy Peretz 
Burns Sanders for his 15th of the year. That's three nothing. We're still in the fourth. Two batters later, it's ice. Gerald Williams in the outside corner hammers it for just his third of the year. Scott Sanders having no better luck as a Tiger than he did as a Mariner. Buddy Bell was hoping that things would work out better. Scott Carl with a nice outing. And Toronto, Alex Gonzalez against Glendon Rush. Ten home runs of the year for the Blue Jays shortstop. Break a one-all tie in the fifth. In the seventh, Emil Benitez on second. Robert Person struggling again. He's facing David Howard. Makes a diving grab, though, to stop the runner from advancing. Well, Howard's trying to pull this ball. Look at the effort to hold him on. Make a great catch right there. Please second Quantrill got Jays out of that inning. Then, Kelvin Escobar against Chili Davis, who made me in his last days as a